And this box right here are some of the greatest chores mankind has to offer, bootleg transformers. So inside the box right here, we have another box. And in this box are the bootleg transformers. This will be my first time seeing this, so we're opening this together, like a married couple or something. Okay, so they're in actual packaging. I honestly thought that these would just be in some kind of plastic bag and thrown in there. Now, these are all bootlegs of the 2007 Legends class figures. If you've seen my bootleg Optimus pen review, then you'll know how this video will go. You get a bootleg Bumblebee, but it looks like the actual character's name is Looker. Rhymes with a very poorly looking Optimus Prime. His name is Infinite. Similar to the suffering you'll go through if you don't leave a like on this video. The Mecha Z Tribunal is always watching. Ratchet, known as Dr. Moo. The reason it's funny is because they just threw the word doctor in there because he's a medical guy and I feel like that's kind of a lazy name. At least it's not just the word doctor on its own. Jazz, who's named Glance. Barricade, who's named Guard. And Blackout, which they named Storm. I like how all the other character names are kind of like a simple word that don't really relate to the figure except for Dr. Moo here. Now the front of the packaging for all of them is the same. It says Alteration Man, 2-in-1, Choking Hazard, Machine Boy, which I guess is the name of the company. And they all come with instructions on the back here. And you get a little ash reference. Also, here are his stats, if anyone cares. I don't. So we'll start with Glance first here. I guess you could say we'll be taking a glance at him. <laughs> Now, there's no point in trying to save the packaging on these. These are not collector's items. So it is acceptable to disrespect the packaging. Oh, come on. I like how they're actually held in place with a wire. Wow, this is getting messy here. That's the problem with filming on white. Also, if you're wondering what happened to my finger, let's just say, make sure to stay away from the eye people. Here's a quick look at Jazz or Glance. Now, straight out of the packaging, this does not hold in place very well, which is fitting considering he gets ripped in half in the movie. And the figure itself feels cheap, but not as cheap as I expected. And the design on this is not too bad. The head sculpt is pretty good, honestly. The legs being pretty much the entire front of the car look kind of weird, though. Here's a look at the back. Now, posability wise there's no head movement. The arms can spin all the way around and they can move a little bit like that. You got ab movement. The legs can split out like that. They can go up like that and back like that and they can twist. He has some grill detail on the front and some detail on the hands as well. And honestly, the blue visor does look really nice, but you got some horrible looking marks there. Now to transform this, you bring this up, bring his feet in, turn his feet around, snap him in place, bring the arms up. The legs are supposed to go all the way up, but it seems to be stuck in place. And then this is super loose. Also, another thing I noticed is that this is a faux front piece. The car front piece is actually like this. This kind of just goes up at the top like that. It's like that on the actual figure too. Honestly, this is the best I can get it to transform. And yeah, I'm not gonna really bother spending any more time on this one. <laughs> Back to Bumblebee or Looker. Here are his stats. And I also just noticed they spelled transformation wrong. It says Transformerion. Here's a look at the inside artwork if anyone cares, I don't. And here is Looker, and despite his name, he is not a Looker. The head sculpt looks very generic. You got his grill on the front here with some silver paint. The color of the blue eyes though is pretty good. The arms are on a ball joint so they can move around like that. And then you have whatever this kind of movement is. Legs are on a ball joint as well. No knee movement. I'm assuming all of these have pretty much the same type of articulation, so I'm not really gonna spend too much time on it. On the bottom here, you have some horrible marks. The figure itself has some detail at the bottom and some panel work right here. Here's a look at the back. Let's see if this one actually transforms. For here, you just pull the legs down and then snap them together, straighten this out. And then yeah, it kind of just goes together in place. It is supposed to snap in like that, but like it's not really gonna stay in place. Here's a look at the front. You can see his hands. The underneath. The wheels roll on this one. On the Jazz one, they were kind of tight. That's what she- Come. Next up, we'll do a Decepticon. Here are his stats, and here's Blackout. And I was a little careless on this one when opening it, but it doesn't really matter. What really matters is you, and you pressing that subscribe button. So the arms and legs are on a ball joint, but the arms are really just kind of stuck in a T-pose like that, and you can't really bring him around. This one does have some extra articulation. The knees are on a ball joint. The head sculpt on this one doesn't look too bad. He's got red eyes, so you know he's evil. A bit of detail work on the chest. Here's a look at the back. Oh, jeez, ooh. It, it's got some disgusting gunk on there. That's gross. And to transform this, I assume it's fairly simple. Looks like you gotta flip this over. Same for the other side. Get everything to line up in there. Then bring these in. And then bring the blades around. It's a bit tight and can't really spin around very well. This right here is also tight and can't really spin very well. This bottom side didn't really snap into place properly. But the vehicle mode on this one doesn't look too bad, honestly. This kind of feels like a nice little mini con. You got some pretty decent silver paint on here. And the blue color doesn't look too bad either. 
better. This is the best vehicle mode so far besides some mysterious substance. Next is Alteration Man Dr. Moo. Here's his stats. This one's a lot glossier than the others, and it looks like it has a lot more detail than them. The hands look kind of off though, and the head sculpt looks kind of like a lion. The head sculpt on this is pretty bad, but the rest of the figure doesn't look too bad. This is pretty loose right here. I'm assuming it is for the transformation. Here's the back of the figure. Comes with an extra tire that does spin. Now for articulation, this one seems like it's got some butterfly joints. Looks like if you move this, the legs can move out, and it looks like they can only move side to side. And there is foot movement. Now detail wise, this is probably one of the better looking ones so far, minus whatever that head is. For transformation, bring in these arms, and they tab into place. Then it looks like you bring this around, and bring these into place. And then you can just line that up. Now the vehicle mode on this one is pretty good. I feel like if you saw this one in vehicle mode, it might pass as an actual authentic transformer figure. Now for barricade, or guard, here's his stats. Now this one doesn't look too bad for a bootleg. It looks like it resembles the original Legends figure quite well. Here's another barricade figure that came out at the time. Here's the side, and the back. The head sculpt is still off though. You got his grill on the front, police on the side, wheels are kind of tight on this. The arms are on a ball joint and and it has a butterfly joint right here. Ball joints on the legs, and the knees can bend, and the head can move up and down. Now for transformation, just bring that head down, bring this over, align these up, and then bring the arms into place. And yeah, that's good enough. You have this here, which kind of blocks it from going in all the way. We can cut this off. I'm not using my god hands on these. Here, now we can put that on. Yeah, and that fits better in place. I'm not gonna worry about the other one. Oh, and I forgot, bring this up. Yeah, the vehicle mode on this looks all right. Doesn't roll well. None of these really roll very well. Here's the bottom, and he's staring at you. It holds together in place pretty well. This is kind of loose. Now we have Optimus, also known as Infinite. Here's his stats. Here is the figure, and this probably is one of the worst looking ones out of all of them. The head sculpt doesn't even have eyes. So he is a prime target for the eye people. That pun was intentional. The general design of the figure is pretty bad. Here's the back, and it's very hollowed out. The arm can move all the way around. I guess the legs get in the way. And then they can move back and forth. The legs are on a ball joint here, but they can only really move back and forth. They can't really move out because of how it's designed. And we can compare it with an Optimus figure I have from one of the movies. And yeah, they don't really look anything alike. Now, I'm gonna guess on how to transform this, which I've been kind of doing with a few of them. I'm guessing bring this around, and then up in a place like that, and then peg it in place. And then it looks like you bring this over like that. And it looks like this one's also got some nubs here. I'm I'm not gonna bother with that. The trailer piece here looks pretty small. The vehicle mode on this one doesn't look too great either. Here's the front, doesn't really hold in place very well. Here's the bottom. However, I will say with this one, if you were to look at it from all around, you couldn't really tell it was a transforming figure. Now here's all the figures side by side. I think the Ratchet and Blackout figures have the best vehicle mode, and with Jazz probably being the worst, followed up by Bumblebee. And here are all the figures in robot mode. And I do want to mention that the arm piece on Barricade broke, so I guess I have a valid reason to return this on Amazon now. Now if we were to take a look at all these horrible figures, I would say the Ratchet one probably looks the best in his robot mode, despite the head. I think it's the best looking and has the most detail on it. Jazz is super loose. And the next best would have probably been Barricade if it didn't break. And I definitely think Optimus looks the worst here. Overall, this was just a for fun thing. It's not really a serious review. All of these are obviously garbage. Not all bootlegs are bad though. This Ravager USB was pretty good. And if you're willing to spend the extra money on a third party figure, you can get something pretty good. It seems like people just like bootleg Transformers reviews. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of that. Also, make sure to check out my other videos right here. And check out my Patreon, which is only $1 a month.